is is what I think influenced by Candida. My thoughts are my thoughts influenced by Candida. Yeah. Um, Candida actually controls people's thoughts. Yeah. And it's able to generate. It speaks English, and it's able to generate very complex ideas in people. Yeah. You're, you're, have you ever noticed, like, you're different from most people? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, do you know that most people do not cure their fibromyalgia? They have it for the rest of their lives. Yeah. They never cure it. They're, they're just sick forever, and then they die. That's what happens. It's, it's an in, a medically incurable disease that doesn't go away or spontaneously clear up. Yeah. And from what I felt... I don't know what happens, but I kind of, I had sensations in my body where I thought, well, either fibromyalgia is going to get worse if it's not treated, or it's going to turn into something really, like, bad for me, even worse for me. We know what um, happens is it, it actually... I, you know, I wasn't diagnosed with anything that said I was going to die, but my body didn't feel like it was living. It may so. not, it may not even get worse, they just age. And the older they get, and also they eat crazy things and so that a lot of people put on weight when they have fibromyalgia mm, is that to do with candida um, yes yes want, it, um, they want to eat the stuff that their, their yeast is feeding off is test they, this test this uh, question um, do I have uh, am I am I influenced it is is what I think influenced by candida my thoughts are my thoughts influenced by candida yeah um, candida actually controls people's thoughts yeah and it's able to generate it speaks english and it's able to generate very complex ideas in people wow i better speak more italian <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it speaks. It speaks a ta It speaks all languages. It it gets it it gets into your linguistic function, and you know there was. I was talking to a biologist friend of mine about this, and he said that it wasn't unreasonable to think that an organism might use that as a survival uh, a way of surviving, like organisms. All different kinds of organisms create very very sophisticated and complex ways of surviving. Wow. And uh, I had a terrible candida infection. You see, what you're actually experiencing is not only fibromyalgia. Like, you're finding viruses, uh, like the Epstein-Barr virus, and you're also testing for candida. So you have a complex condition. And this is, the, what, this is most people who have fibromyalgia have this. Yeah, it, it makes sense, actually. When I was reading your notes on the hub, about herpes causing a lot of the emotional stuff, I started to just think about society and people on the street generally that you see, and how people that have self-destructive behaviors like, I don't know, drugs or, or alcoholism or, or just not liking themselves, that they all, regardless of having the symptoms of a disease, they are being controlled probably by the viruses, right? Yes. Yeah, it made sense looking back at my past behavior as well. Hmm. Well, did you have chicken pox when you were a child? Yeah. And see, that, that's a virus unless... This is the only cure for these things. And unless you cure that chicken pox virus, that's going to be there inside of you for the rest of your life. Ultimately, it also causes a shingles uh, condition, causes shingles yeah. outbreaks. Yeah. I, I found out that I had it. I had chicken pox too when I was a kid. And I got a shingles outbreak about two months ago. I had no, I thought I, I was afraid I got my herpes back. But then I tested and I, my, we looked it up on the web. I tested that it wasn't herpes. And so I asked Franny to look it up and she looked up the thing. And the, what I had, you know, of course it wasn't in the same spot as a herpes virus. Uh, which always comes back in the on the genitals or on the mouth, 
and this was uh, on my leg. <laughs> and uh, Franny looked it up, and she found it, it that it was, uh, you know, what it was. And then I remembered that I had chicken pox, and I tested for it, and I removed it. I haven't had an outbreak since. I keep finding it every day, though. Now that I'm, you don't find things that you don't look for. So okay. it's like I have, I have never in my life tested myself for fibromyalgia until five minutes ago. And I found yeah. fibromyalgia in my gravitational body, which I'm, let me, I just want to test it. I get it from you. I actually tested that, I, that my gravitational body grabbed it out of your gravitational body. Right. Which is okay. You know, I can kill it. It's not a problem. I, I don't have to avoid you because... Uh, well, our gravitational bodies get things from other people. Yeah. That's what they do. They, they go around grabbing DNA codes and they give them to the spiral body, which inserts them in the DNA. And that's how we get these physical conditions. Right. It's also how we evolve. It's a good thing. It's what your gravitational body is supposed to do. It's just that sometimes it brings in things that aren't, you know, desirable. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess that's what they mean by behavior is uh, contagious. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, makes sense, makes sense now. Um, something else uh, along those lines I experienced yesterday was I was watching one of the videos when I was really exhausted because I wanted to keep my mind filled as to what's going on. And I watched one of the videos on YouTube where you're speaking to a lady who had, um, is it endometriosis? Yes. Uh, it was interesting because uh, when she mentioned the cold feet, the thyroid dysfunctions, I said, wow, I had that too. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I said, right, well, nobody ever gave me explanations for a lot of this stuff, but I'm finding out now. Yeah. I've got signals on it, so I put that in the mental list, you know, the grocery list. Yeah. Later. Yeah. 